Hello! Here is the very first video of a series that will present the Cyril software. You will start in this video with the interface and I will first describe the main functions of the preview window. Other videos will follow to explain in detail the use of Cyril. After loading an image, it is previewed in the left part of the Cyril interface. If your image is in black and white, as in this photo made with a half filter, you will have only one tab at your disposal. On the other hand, if your image is in color, four tabs will be accessible. The different functions work equally well in both cases. Be careful! One of the particularities of this preview screen is that the operations you do there are not destructive, in fact the image file is not modified. The display modes allow the scaling of the source image file to the displayed image to be changed. Sliders and display modes are used to improve the visibility of some details in an image, or more precisely to change the dynamics of the viewing, without altering pixel data from the image file in any way. This is only for display purposes. A mistake often made by beginners is that they are surprised to find a black image when it is opened for example with the GIMP, whereas in Cyril all the details are visible. It is therefore important to remember that viewing and modifying an image are separated in Cyril. We will see the processing of an image in future videos. Let's go back to the preview screen. The display mode viewer is used to improve the visibility of an image without altering its pixel data in any way, similarly to what DS9 scale does. The grey window is used to display color components for the image, control their visual composition in the color image, and give information about the displayed frame. Pixel value when moving the mouse on a pixel, file name and layer number, FWHM value of the selection if it applies, and some display tools. Four tabs are at your disposal. One for each layer RG and B and one for the color. We will be able to modify the zoom in several ways. The first one with the two buttons located at the bottom right of the software interface. The first button will adjust the image to the window, the second will display the image in its resolution. Note the tools tips that appear and that will indicate the function and when it is necessary to describe the use of this one. You can move around the image either with the up, down and right, left scroll bars or with the scroll wheel of your mouse, to scroll the image from right to left with the scroll wheel of the mouse. Place the cursor on the scroll bar at the bottom of the image. You also have a fine zoom function accessible by holding down the control key on your keyboard and the scroll wheel of your mouse. You also have a full screen display function by pressing the control key and the F key. 
You exit this display by pressing these keys again. We'll now look at the different possible display modes. Linear, the default mode of Cyril. The pixels are displayed from dark to light in a linear scale. The logarithmic scale. The operation simultaneously exacerbating the weak and light levels of the image. The square root of each pixel. This can be seen primarily in this mode of the brightest parts of the image. Square of each pixel, which can be seen with this model viewer is primarily the most brightest part of the image. The inverse hyperbolic sign is commonly used. It reproduces the perceptive capacity of the human eye, allowing to perceive significantly different brightness levels simultaneously. The ASINH function is close to the logarithmic mode but has a better behavior around zero. Auto stretch, Cyril performs auto stretching curves to adjust the image and make it visible on the screen. The histogram equalization increases the contrast of the image by increasing the dynamic range of the intensity given to the pixels with the most likely intensity values. It is highly recommended to evaluate all the signals contained in the image. These buttons give access to functions that will be the subject of a specific video. Negative view. False color rendering switch to normal and rainbow color map colors. MIPS low, high. If this option is checked fits headers MIPS high and MIPS low are read in their values given to the current viewing levels. User is the values defined by the user. As soon as you touch the sliders, it uses user mode, cut, instead of keeping pixels with values greater than the value, high, white when checked, displays black pixels when saturated. Tip. All of these modes can also be applied independently on each channel when the bond into channel is disabled. Thank you for your attention. Please feel free to visit our site Cyril.org and support us if you wish. You will find the links in description. We remain at your disposal and your comments and questions are welcome.